Hey guys, my name is Shabranshan Bhaskar and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add this progressive blur effect in your firmware websites. As you can probably see, there is this very subtle blur effect that is going on on my website right now as I scroll up and down through my website. So let's not waste our time anymore and let's just jump right inside the firmware file. So the first thing that you need to do is open the firmware project where you want to add the progressive blur effect. You can add this for mobile and uh, desktop breakpoint support. Then you need to go to the link provided in the video description and click on copy component. Once you do that, you need to go back to your framework project, select the desktop breakpoint for now and paste it by pressing command V or control V on your keyboard. Now make sure that this blur component is on the topmost layer of your uh, desktop breakpoint like this. And now what you want to do is set the width to 100% so that it captures your entire screen and make sure it's center aligned. Next we are going to remove the top constraint and set the bottom constraint to 0. We are going to select the type in fix so that it uh, remains fixed at the bottom of your uh, viewport screen. Now what we want to do is scroll down so that we can change the uh, component properties right here. You can increase or decrease the blur amount. If you want a subtle uh, blur amount, I would recommend you to use a value of 10 pixels or 12 pixels. Uh, I'm going to use 10 for now just to show you guys. And you can also change some other properties of this particular blur component. You can set the direction from uh, bottom, top, left or right. For now, I'm simply going to use the bottom uh, directional uh, blur component so that we can get a nice subtle blur background effect uh, when I scroll down on my website. Once you do that, that's pretty much it. All we have to do is change the height uh, for which the blur component needs to be adjusted. I'm going to set this to around 140 pixels. I think that's a pretty good number just to show you guys. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. As you can probably see when I scroll down, I have this subtle progressive blur effect on my website. So that was it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye-bye.